what's up? LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to Empires. So far, my ocean empire is a few lily pad islands plopped around. But one day, a great castle will emerge from the briny depths, and I will rule over everything the water touches. But in order to achieve this goal, I need some loyal subjects. So today, I'm going to be trying to recruit some villagers to come and live in my empire and help me grow the economy with their trading. Now, usually, I would just kidnap a few villagers from a local village, but in empires, I'm trying really hard not to be accused of any war crimes, at least in the first few episodes. So instead, I'm going to take some emeralds and try to entice the villagers peacefully. So let's head off. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Look at this cute little gift which Pixel Riffs left for me. He built an entire lily pad for this creepy frog to live on, and it seems to have somewhat desecrated Parrot's gravestone. However, it is made of valuable copper, so I'm happy. Anyway, let's go and get some of these villagers to join the Ocean Empire. I have emeralds, you have pants. I'll take them. Thank you! Now, perhaps you could consider coming to live in the Ocean Empire. That's a yes. Come on, let's go. He's so happy to be joining me on this adventure, to become part of something bigger than this tiny village. Don't worry, this is perfectly safe. I know what I'm doing. You are a subject of the Ocean Empire now. Your safety is my number one priority. Now, get out the boat. Oops, sorry. Wow, look at this. <gasps> this is so pretty. You see, I told you it was a good idea leaving that village behind. You never would have experienced this. Now, here it is, the ocean. Get used to that salty fish smell, because this is where you live now. We have arrived at our final destination, so please, disembark from the boat. Step onto land and make yourself at home. Now, it's going to take more than one person to repopulate the villager species around here. So you stay here, and I'll find you a friend. You there, come with me. All right. I like your hat, sir. You will make a fine addition to the Ocean Empire. Oh, fabulous. So good to see that you are still alive. And I brought you a friend. Now, what do I got to do to make you guys fall in love? How about a romantic candlelit meal? No? I'm just kidding. I know how to breed villagers, obviously. It's beds, right? Here you go. <gasps> this is beautiful. There he is. He has emerged. The next day. Now that we have a few villagers here, I thought it'd be cute to give them a custom skin that is unique to the Ocean Empire. So, ta-da. Kind of creepy, right? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you actually like it or if it's really ugly and scary. I tried to make them look like fish people, so they have these gills coming out the side of their heads. And they're all wearing traditional Ocean Empire robes under their work garments. Oh my gosh! An iron golem spawned. You, sir, need a custom skin as well. Behold! The mighty... Oh gosh! The mighty axolotl golem. Okay, what have I created here? This is terrifying. Oh my god, now there's a wandering trader here. He's got moss. Let's do a little experiment with some of this moss. I think I can bone meal this. Oh, it spread. Wow. Let's keep this safe for later because now I'm going to try and transform this island into a nice place for my villagers. But instead of building them all little houses, I thought it'd be cute to build them a huge marketplace to live in for now. So I'm going to start by marking out a path and then I'm going to build a few market stalls around the island. I'm trying to keep the color scheme similar to the color of my villagers. So I will start with some cyan. I love this market stall design from Phelps. Uh-oh. We have a villager overboard. I've had to create an Ocean Empire Coast Guard because so many villagers fall off the island and they can't get back on. Two hours later. So now that we have a few of these market stalls, I think we should start trapping villagers. I already have one over here. He's a mason and this is his stall for now. As you can see, I've leveled him up because I've been using him for quartz. Which means I didn't have to go to the nether just to build my fancy market stalls. So let's start giving these fish people some professions and trapping them. This guy is already a Fletcher. So if we can get him in here. Aha. 
I also have a cute little farming villager right here. How adorable is this? So let's try and trap them in this pink stall. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Next, I want to create a tool smith. So I have a smithing table here. There we go. And at this point, as I was in the middle of wrangling my villagers, half the server turned up at my empire, wanting to know where the stronghold is. So in exchange for the promise of a few chorus plants, I showed them where to go. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna warn you that the entrance is a little bit dramatic. Oh no. Oh, down we go. Oh, oh this is <laughs> where we die. Whoa. Oh, no. we, we all have oh. dolphins grace. Oh, I'm glad I got respiration Whoa. for this. Okay. Oh, oh, ooh. Oh, busy. Magical. Okay. Secret, secret geo. Grotto. Stronghold's right here. Oh, there's oh, something down there. Oh. <laughs> this is where my journey ends. You guys go ahead. Thank right, you. Uh, okay. Split up, fine. Well, they're gonna die. Now the next villager I want to create is a librarian. So I have some lecterns here. And I'm gonna trap him in. Oh my gosh, he is adorable! Okay, let's see if we have a good trade. Mending! Today is my lucky day! Let's lock this in. And I think we should make more librarian villagers too. How about another one over here? Let's see what fabulous trades you offer. <gasps> Ooh, Fortune 3? Let's lock that in. Ta -da. Now we need to build one more stall because I want to make a cleric villager. And luckily I happened to steal a brewing stand from a village a while ago. So it's super easy to make a new cleric and lock him in. Oh, <gasps> that is a cool outfit. Now let's offer him all my rotten flesh. And we have a very well established marketplace. Now, before we start doing the final decorations, I need to move these beds because one, they're ugly, and two, they'll get rained on, which is gross. So I'm going to create a secret area under the island and it's not gonna look cute. I'm sorry, but that is okay because nobody should ever see this. It's the behind the scenes magic of my glorious empire. Now we can just cover this up with a trap door and nobody has to know. And now we can start decorating. So I'm gonna start by planting a few trees around here. Now that is looking nice, but I would also like to add some hedges around for decoration, but also I'm hoping to reduce the number of incidents of villagers becoming lost at sea, because quite frankly, it's becoming an issue. Now, I also want to put a small wheat field over here. So that will look cute when it's all grown. And next to it, I'm gonna build something. Ta-da! It's a cart for farming. And we could also put some of these hay bales around. Now this is starting to look really villagey. Next, I wanted to decorate all the individual market stalls to match the profession of the villagers. So I went around chaotically trying to collect lots of different items to display and it is almost complete. So I will now show you all the stalls and their little details, but at the same time, I'm going to be naming the villagers because last episode I got so many good suggestions for ocean themed names. So first we have this librarian villager here and I'm going to name this villager Notion because it sounds mysterious. And then just around the corner, we have a mason. You can be Marlin the Mason. And over here, we have the Fletcher. And I decorated this with little arrows all over the place and a giant target above him. And I'm gonna name this one Finn the Fletcher because we love cheesy names. Now, next we have a toolsmith over here. And I love this data pack that let me put these tools hanging up here. I think it looks so cool. Now, I'm gonna name my toolsmith Cordelia the Toolsmith. Next, we have the farmer's stall, which is my absolute favorite. I tried to make this look like a barrel full of carrots and I put out a selection of flowers and fruits. And back here, I even have a stack of pumpkins, which I made using the armor stands. And I'm gonna call this villager Kelpie. I think this is a really cute name suggestion. Now around the corner, we have the cleric stall over here. I tried to get as many magical items as I could, but actually these are just bottles of honey and water. It's kind of a scam really, but at least we can give my cleric a cool name. Coral the Cleric. And the final villager stall is here, another librarian. This time, I'm gonna name her Pearl. And I want to get a special item for her stall. I think it would look so cute to have an amethyst crystal on her shelf here. But first, I'm gonna need Silk Touch. So let's just get another villager and... Nope, we want Silk Touch. Nope, nope, nope. I will do this all day if I have to. One eternity later. <gasps> there we go. 
So let's get my silk touch. Now I need to add this to a new pickaxe because I enchanted this one with the Fortune 3 and those don't work together. So let's make a new diamond pick and this one is my special silk touch pick. Now let us go get some crystals from my secret grotto, which is actually not so secret anymore now that I told everybody about it. Oh, look at all this boat pollution. Okay, now I think I just need to harvest a crystal. Oh, <gasps> so pretty. And now let's go. Okay, Pearl, here is your amethyst crystal. That looks amazing. At this point, I took a step back to admire my hard work and I realized these are peasant paths. They're far too basic. And if I want the other empires to take me seriously, I'm gonna have to take my paths more seriously. So I went around the island adding more detail to the ground and I'm actually really pleased with how it looks now. It looks kind of realistic. So I'm gonna declare this project complete. But before I end this episode, there's something I spotted in the distance. It looks like they somehow made it back from the end. And here is my chorus fruit. How cool is that? I don't really know what to do with this chorus fruit. I don't know why I asked for it really. I just wanted them to bring me back a souvenir. But that is where I'm gonna end this episode of Empires. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.